All right, everyone, with an any cubic Cobra 3 combo with the Ace Pro, I just kind of wanted to chat about uh, ABS printing with this real quick. Um, I'm not going to open this because uh, it's heated in there, uh, which helps with ABS. Uh, anyway, I was having major, major issues with ABS and ASA sticking to my print bed on my printer. Um, I had tried a bunch of stuff to make this work. Uh, these are PEI plates and you're not supposed to put glues or anything like that on there, any type of adhesives. So I chose not to. This is the, the plate that it comes with and it prints PLA, no problem. And smaller ASA and ABS stuff, no issue whatsoever. Uh, the plate works great for that. So if you're doing basic prints, that plate is really good. Um, I'll post it in the description, but this plate, let me see if I can get in here, is just kind of a generic one from Amazon. Uh, it's designed for the Cobra 3. It's the right size. It's magnetic. It's also a PEI plate. However, it specifically designates that it's for ABS and ASA. Um, I have printed three large things off of here so far with no issue whatsoever. Um, I haven't used any adhesives. I have not even cleaned it off. I'm just testing it to see how long I can go without cleaning it and still get decent prints. Um, so right now what I'm printing is, these are uh, air intake ducts for a Kia Stinger. Uh, here's one that I already printed. Um, and what I did is, is, this is how it was oriented on the printer. This is the only part that was touching the printer. And what I did is I did a raft. I did an eight layer raft. I found if I went to like a five layer, I would get, it would pick up on the corners and warp a little bit on the corners. So I went eight layers and that seems to work perfect. I don't get any warping. I don't get it peeling up or anything like that. Um, and then I did tree supports and you can kind of see them in there going. Um, I did tree supports for these, these mounting ears and stuff like that. Um, it prints absolutely phenomenal. This is RepRap ABS. Uh, it's just a cheaper ABS I bought a long time ago. I've had this for a couple of years now. I'm waiting for some ASA to get here. Uh, but you can tell that the print, these are default print settings outside of adding the raft. Uh, I did a 15% infill. Um, 40 degree overhang, I think it was, for the uh, uh, tree supports. Uh, and it only picks up on those tabs there that you see. Uh, oh, and then there was a couple on the inside, like right in here, that it made a couple of supports. It didn't really need them, but it did them anyway. Uh, so, like I said, right now, this is a seven hour print. I've got, or an eight hour print, I'm sorry, I'm about three hours into it. Uh, the issue that I had is my prints would start out looking nice and they'd get about this far and they'd pop off. With It didn't matter if I had a raft, a brim, raft and a brim, any of that, they would always come off with that other plate. Uh, so like I said, I'll put this in the description. It's just a cheap Amazon plate. Um, and like I said, I have not had any issues with this yet. Uh, I haven't printed anything except ABS on here uh, because I've been printing these and each one is, each one of these takes eight hours and then each one of the openings takes seven hours. Uh, these looked a little rougher. There were tree supports under here. Uh, but I think it's because of the weird angle that that prints at. It's kind of weird. And then when I did my raft, the raft went on this portion right here. So you can see how thin that wall is. It's not a very thick wall. Uh, so there's not a lot of surface area to grab to. But an eight layer raft seemed to really help. Uh, going five was too small. This enclosure is a Sunlu enclosure. And in my opinion, it's essential for an open printer like this. Uh, even with PLA, you know, I mean, you're drying the, the filament here and you need to be able to have a warm enclosure for adhesion and to help it print, things like that. I mean, when I get up close, you can actually feel the heat on this plastic. Uh, it's, it's got the radiant barrier inside. You've got, they're hard to see, but way in the back over there are the holes uh, for the, or there's a hole for the power cord back there. And then here, along here is like a flap right here. This is a whole big flap to access the printer for controls or whatever. And you can see that I've got my tubes coming in from the East Pro right here. And then I, that's how I actually access the power switch. Um, 
and then this has two zippers that unzip but it actually unzips all the way up to there so if you need to work on your printer you can unzip this entire thing and get in there and do adjustments whatever you might need to do uh, for the printer uh, what else it is plenty tall enough I've probably got another foot 12 inches above the printer for space width wise it's it's right there I mean it's pretty snug width wise and then depth wise it fits but the full range of motion for the tray or the plate actually touches both ends of this enclosure it doesn't impede its motion or anything like that but it will actually touch uh, so and then you got a little poop tray that it printed off over there uh, so if you want to print if like this is in my basement my basement stays about 62 to 65 degrees year round so it's a little cold to print ABS in the open and stuff like that so if you need if you're in an area where you want to control the climate the temperature of your printer a little bit more get this enclosure um, I'll post a link for this also it's about $35 the poles uh, they're gonna be hard to see the the poles that hold it are actually little fiberglass uh, poles and you just put it all together kind of like a little tinker toy thing uh, if you know what tinker toys are and uh, there's you can see one of them right there it's a fiberglass pole that they goes into plastic inserts uh, and it holds it all together so if you have any questions feel free to ask